Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan. I like houseplants, I like gardening, I just like all of the plants in general. But today's video is going to be a gardening one. Um, I got some seeds in the mail, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a seed haul. I'm probably gonna be drinking coffee throughout this video because this is my second video <laughs> that I have filmed today. If you guys wanna know what my favorite coffee mug in the world is, it's this one because there's an otter on it. There's not one otter, but there's one and then two. And then there's another little otter right here, three otters. And if you didn't know, otters are my very favorite animals. Okay, they're the cutest animals in the world. Nobody can tell me otherwise. I'm right, you're wrong. Okay, so let's start with the seed haul. I ordered quite a few seeds for this growing season. Um, some of them I haven't gotten in yet. They're a little delayed. I ordered all of these seeds from a few different companies all at the same time. Most of them are here, but some of them are delayed and they haven't even been um, like processed yet. So I don't know what's going on with those. I hope they get here soon though, because I need to start my seeds. But we'll start with one of my favorite seed companies. They're called Kids Seed Co. And they're called Kids Seed Co. because it's this little family that sell seeds and their kids are like heavily involved in the whole process. I'm pretty sure that their kids help grow the plants, they help harvest the seeds, and they help package the seeds and everything. And I think that that's just so cute because we need to get kids involved in gardening and it's just, it's so wholesome. So I got a couple of seeds from them. So this is what I pulled out of the package and there's this cute little letter in here and it says, Dear Megan, we truly appreciate your continued support and we're so happy that you like our seeds. We included teddy bear sunflowers because they're a favorite bloom in our garden and we hope you enjoy them too. Happy growing. Happy growing. Thomas, Laura, Laszlo, Mina or Nina. I think it says Mina. It might be Nina. Natalia and Yona. Sorry if I butchered those names. That It's it's kind of hard to read. The, the writing's hard for me to read. But that's so sweet. That's so cute. And this little note card is the cutest. I love that. So it looks like the seeds are in this little packet. And also I think that their logo is super cute too. So I can't even remember what I bought from them. So I'm gonna be just as surprised as you are. Okay, so first we have this pink okra. It's called Okinawa Pink. Thought that was really unique. I don't have any pink okra. I've got all other colors of okra, but not pink. So I thought that would be kind of fun to grow. I love growing like unique things. Then I also got these pepper seeds. This is a paprika pepper. Um, and I really, really want to grow some paprika peppers this year because I'm, I love paprika. A few years ago, we visited Hungary and there's so much paprika there and it, it truly does taste different. It is, it's a whole other ball game. And I really just want to grow like Hungarian varieties, varieties of peppers and process my own paprika. I think that would be really fun. So that's why I got this Hungarian pepper. And I believe that this family on their website, it says something about um, some of their family being Hungarian and they picked up these seeds while they were in Hungary. So yes. And then next I got this tomato. This is blue goldberry. I think these are beautiful. They're a golden type of cherry tomato with a hint of blue at the top. It's probably hard to see the picture, but I just think that they're beautiful and supposedly they're really sweet and citrusy as well, which is right up my alley. So I'm excited to grow these. And then these are the teddy bear sunflower seeds that they included for free. I didn't order these, but I think it's really cool that they know that I love teddy bear sunflowers. I grew a lot of these last year that I actually, I, I think pretty sure I still have teddy bear sunflower seeds from them from, that I bought from them last year. So these will last me a really long time. And then they also included this sticker, which is just adorable. I love stickers. And actually it's funny because I have a sticker on one of my seed boxes, this exact same sticker that I got from them last year and I put it on my seed box. So I'll have to put this one on my seed box too. Oh, and also I forgot to mention that they're local to me in North Carolina. I think that they're based out of Asheville. And another company that I order from regularly that's based out of Asheville is So True Seed. So this is from So True Seed. I have a lot of seeds left over from them last year, but this year they had a couple of new varieties in that I wanted to try. So 
starting with this sweet pepper. It's called St. Croix and it has a little story about them on the front. It says that this seed was originally shared with us via longtime seed saver, Yana Fishman. Yana found these delicious little red peppers while on vacation on the island of St. Croix known in the Caribbean as flavored peppers for good reason. They look and smell like hot peppers, but they taste sweet. Neat, I can't wait to grow these. And then next I got this Styrian Hollis pumpkin. Apparently this pumpkin is grown prim primarily for its pumpkin seeds. Supposedly it, put, it grows superior seeds that can be used for roasting or however you wanna eat them. And last year was a total fail with pumpkins. I totally failed. I didn't grow a single freaking pumpkin although I tried, it was the vine borers that got to me. <laughs> and this year I'm not gonna let them win. I'm stepping up my pumpkin games. And next I got this speckled Roman tomato. So it's basically just a Roman tomato, but it's speckled. I like any tomatoes that are like variegated. Do you, do you guys see this gnat that's like flying in front of me? <laughs> Sorry, I was saying I like any kind of speckled variety of tomato. So excited to grow this one. And then I picked up some of these birdhouse bottle gourds. So these are gourds that you can grow and then you can harvest them and cure them and then hollow them out to make like a birdhouse which I think would be such a fun project and I really want to try it. And then lastly I got this flower mix. It's a beneficial attractant flower mix so it has flowers that will attract beneficial insects to your garden which is really important like ladybugs, parasitic wasps, praying mantises, praying mantises, praying mantis. Praying mantis? What is, what's the plural of praying mantis? I don't know. All right, and then these are some seeds that I got from Pepper Joe's. If you don't know what Pepper Joe's is, they have like so many varieties of pepper seeds on their website. I mean, it's just peppers that you've never even heard of before. And I, peppers are my favorite thing to grow. So I, I love their website. They're pretty expensive, um, but they do carry like I said, unique pepper seeds that you wouldn't find anywhere else. And I'm about to show you an example of that. So this first one is called Chayero Roca, something like that. I know that that word is pronounced a certain way and I'm honestly, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not gonna try, but it's this pepper and it's like a pink pepper. I don't know if you can fully pick up the color from this camera, but it's a really pretty pink hue, almost like a light pastel type of pink, which I've never really seen before in a pepper. I think that they're really beautiful um, and they're supposed to be pretty spicy as well and they're supposed to be really good. So picked up these ones. And I also got these Bishop Crown peppers. These are another variety of hot pepper and they just have a really unique shape to them. Um, I think it's called Crown because I don't know. I don't even know how to describe this shape, uh, but you can see it. It's weird. And I also picked up these Brazilian starfish pepper seeds. I also love their packaging. They're, it's very colorful. I like it. <laughs> this is another weirdly shaped pepper and it's supposed to be pretty spicy as well, but I think these are not like a super hot pepper, but they're just kind of mildly spicy, um, but mainly they're grown for their weird shape. I'm growing so many weirdo little peppers this year and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> and then they always include a set of free seeds. So I got this free seed packet and it just says super hot mix. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> um, I guess it's, it'll be like a fun little surprise. I don't know. And then they also sent stickers. I love stickers so much and I love especially when seed companies send stickers because I really just wanna fill my seed boxes with stickers. And these stickers are really cool. So there's this one. And it's like a pepper, right? But it's it's like a super hot pepper. Sorry, my ring light is messing everything up. You can't really, sorry about the glare on the ring light, but um, there we go. So it's like a, it's in the shape of a super hot pepper. It says Pepper Joe's right there where my finger is. And it's like a skull kind of thing. I think it's cool. And then there's this one. This is also a super hot pepper and it's got a weird little eye on it. Oh, it's so weird. I love it. Okay. And then I also ordered from Baker Creek and my gardener and Mary's heirloom seeds, but those have not come in yet. So I'm just going to look them, the receipts up very quickly on my iPad and just go through what I got. Hello. It is the next day. So as I was saying yesterday, I have a couple of seed orders that are still coming in, but the reason I'm filming today is because I finally got my Baker Creek one this morning. So I thought I would just like 
just film it since I finally got it. Um, and then the other two I don't have yet and I have no idea when they're coming in. So I'm just going to um, like, I'm just gonna look up the receipts on my iPad and just go through them and I'll have to put the pictures on the screen. Okay, so this is my Baker Creek order. I got quite a few seeds from Baker Creek, so buckle up. Okay, so the first one that I got from Baker Creek are these Taiwan yard long beans. I think these look so cool. Just the fact that they can grow that big. I don't know, I'm just really excited to grow these. I'm actually not growing a lot of beans this year. I'm only gonna be growing this type of bean. So I have this bean and then I have another type that's coming in from Mary's heirloom seeds that I will show you later. But last year I grew a lot of beans. I grew a lot of bush beans, I grew a lot of pole beans and I had a lot of problems with those beans because I had a lot of Mexican bean beetles. Mexican bean beetles totally decimated my beans last year. So this year I'm not gonna plant that many beans and the ones that I do plant, I'm gonna be planting them in like a totally separate part of the garden far away from where I had the huge pest problem last year. So yeah, I'm really hoping that I don't have that problem with bees because it was so frustrating. I hate those bugs. Okay, next are the peppers. I got, I got a lot of peppers from Baker Creek. I got a lot of peppers in general this year because peppers are my favorite thing to grow. They're my absolute favorite thing to grow. So I'm gonna be growing a ton of peppers this year. I'm gonna have a huge pepper patch. So the first one is this Sugar Rush Peach. I've seen a lot of gardeners grow these last year and I saw them praise them highly. So I'm really excited to try to grow these. They're supposed to be, um, it says long peach colored fruits are packed with loads of super sweet tropical flavor and the seeds bring a smoky complex heat. That sounds delicious. Okay, the next one is this Tobago seasoning pepper. It says it's a traditional ingredient in jerk seasoning in the Caribbean and I love jerk seasoning. I love Caribbean food, so I'm trying to grow a lot of the Caribbean peppers. So it says that they are gorgeous scarlet peppers and they reach two to three inches long with just a hint of heat, but mostly sweet. So it delivers the fruity overtones of a habanero, but with much less heat, which habaneros are my favorite peppers. I absolutely love the sweet fruity fruity uh, flavored peppers. So I'm excited for this one. Next we have this jigsaw pepper. So I mainly wanna grow this pepper for ornamental reasons because if you can see on the packet, the foliage is variegated with purple and white variegation. So it's it looks like an incredibly beautiful pepper. And as far as the peppers go, it says on the back here, when when you see me looking at these like this, I'm just reading the back. Um, so it says on the back that they are plum colored and about as spicy as a jalapeno. So next we have this ahi crystal pepper. So this is a Chilean pepper and it says that it has a citrusy hot flavor. So pretty much like a jalapeno, or not a jalapeno, a habanero. And like I said, that's one of my favorite peppers. So anything that resembles a habanero, I want to grow. Okay, next up is this ahi, Cherapita, and supposedly these are one of the most expensive peppers in the world. So it says it's a super tiny pepper from Peru. It's often grown as a house plant, which that's interesting. Maybe I'll try to grow it as a house plant because I love I love house plants. Apparently these are really popular in Peruvian markets where they're pretty pricey as well. So it says that the pepper has a distinct fruity citrus aroma and is equal in heat to a cayenne. So again, we have there's a there's a theme here with my um, my pepper purchases. I love the the fruity citrus hot peppers. Then we have the Korean dark green. I am slightly obsessed with Korean food and so I really wanted to grow this pepper because it says that it is great for authentic kimchi and other Korean dishes. So I'm always making, um, I want to try making my own kimchi this year. I didn't get to do that last year um, but I really want to try that this year and I would love to use some authentic Korean peppers in there. I also like to make a lot of Korean dishes at home like I like to make kimchi stew and things like that so this is perfect for me. Next is this I don't know how to pronounce this, um, Luchuar paprika pepper. So this is a hot paprika pepper. Um, so if you remember the one that I got from Kids Seed Company, I think that one's a sweet paprika pepper from Hungary. This is a hot one from Hungary. Because if you don't know, there's a difference between sweet paprika and hot paprika. And I actually learned that when I went to Hungary because before going to Hungary, I thought that there was just paprika. I did not know anything about paprika. I didn't know that there was 
a difference in the two. So I'm excited to grow this to make some hot paprika. Next is this lemon drop pepper. Honestly, this pepper just caught my eye because of the color. It says that it is a seasoning pepper from Peru and it ripens to a clear lemon yellow and it has an amazing fruity hot flavor, uh, great for hot sauce. So that is a yes for me. Then we have the blot pepper. This is another pepper that I saw a lot of gardeners growing last year and I was really jealous because not only are they beautiful, I've heard that they are very delicious and they're great snacking peppers that you can literally just eat right out of the garden. That's my favorite type of pepper. I do love my hot peppers, but I love my sweet peppers more because I literally, like I love just eating raw peppers, like either straight from the garden or like with a side of ranch and just sitting on the couch. Like I literally will just, I'll make a plate of peppers from the garden and then just have like a bowl of ranch next to me and I'll just like, I'll just be eating peppers. So yes, these are beautiful. As you can see, they're like different type of rainbow kind of color and they're delicious. So what more could you want in a pepper, honestly? So now on to the tomatoes. So the first tomato that really caught my eye was this Black Beauty tomato. I love dark tomatoes because typically they're really sweet. They have a lot of like bold flavor to them. I just, ugh, I'm so obsessed with tomatoes. And they have a lot of anthocyanins in them too, which is an antioxidant, it's good for you. It says on the back here that this is the world's darkest tomato. So this is a, this is just like one of those interesting tomatoes that you get like that wow factor. Like, I don't know about like you guys or, other gardeners but one of my favorite things about gardening is when you pick some stuff for your family and friends and you give it to them and they just hold it up and they're like what this is a tomato i didn't even know that that this like existed it's so weird i'm like yes you know it's heirloom vegetables but like just seeing that wow factor on somebody's face it's just like i don't know that i can't explain it it's just one of my favorite things about gardening so i can't wait to give some of these to my friends and family and also obviously taste them for myself and the next one is this orange peach tomato i thought that the color on this was stunning it's it looks a little more orange on my camera but it's supposed to be a true peach color and it's also supposedly called orange peach because the tomato actually has a little bit of like fuzz on the outside just like a peach would and it says on the back here that it is so peachy that it can actually be used for imitation peach so that's cool so that's really interesting i cannot wait to try this one and the next one is kellogg's breakfast tomato so apparently this is called kellogg's breakfast tomato because it just makes a great breakfast tomato it says it's a beautiful orange beefsteak fruit and it's very flavorful and superbly sweet fruit often exceeds one pound which is huge for a tomato and this year i really want to focus on growing like the biggest tomatoes that I possibly can. So in order to do that, I've got to get some varieties that are known for just growing ginormous. I don't think ginormous is a word, but you get what I'm saying. And then moving on, this is Dr. White's Yellow. This is another tomato that's supposed to get pretty hefty. So it says that um, the fruit often grows to be one pound. It has heavy yields and is very productive. And it's a tangerine orange flavor. I really love the orange tomatoes. I find that they have they're a little bit sweeter. They have like a little bit lower acidity, which I like. So I'm definitely planting more orange varieties this year. Then we have this one. This is Blue Beauty. So I think this one is just gorgeous. So it's got like, it's a red tomato, but then it has this blush of blue slash black on the top. So I don't really think that there's supposed to be anything special about it other than it's beautiful. And I love growing beautiful tomatoes. And speaking of gorgeous tomatoes, I also got this black strawberry tomato. So it's similar to that blue beauty, whereas it's red with like a blush of blue slash black. This actually looks a little bit purple on the top, except for this is a cherry variety. It says that the flavor is decadent and indulgent with perfect sweet and tart balanced flavor. I'm sold. Next, I got this, I'm really excited for this one. So I got this jazzy red zinnia. I think these zinnias are so beautiful. And if you don't know, zinnias are one of my favorite, favorite garden flowers. They're so easy to grow. They're so beautiful. They're just like virtually problem free. Like I just, I love growing zinnias. If I could, I would have a whole flower farm just dedicated to zinnias which is why I'm so jealous of Florette Flower because her flower farm is so amazing. I know she grows other things than just zinnias, but if it were me, it would just be like a whole flower farm just full of zinnias. Next, I got this sweet dumpling squash. I think these are really, really cute. They're really beautiful. It says that they're one pound fruits, which is like just 
the perfect little size for just for just a little sweet dumpling squash. And the name is super cute, so it kind of makes it better. And it says that it's supposed to be one of the sweetest. So I was totally sold on this one and I really can't wait to grow this one. Another squash that I'm excited to grow is this Zapaleto, no, <laughs> I butchered that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Zapaleto de Tronco squash. Um, this is an Argentinian summer or winter squash with creamy flesh. This is also called the avocado squash due to the low moisture content of the flesh, making it creamy in consistency. That sounds yummy. And it says it has a semi-bush habit and is very productive with relative squash bug resistance and excellent heat tolerance, which that's one of the reasons that I bought this one because I had a a slight problem with squash bugs last year. It wasn't like a major problem, but they 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 were very annoying. My major problem was the vine borers, which I'm hoping to deter this year. But I am looking for more varieties that are known to be squash bug resistant. So that's one of the reasons that I picked this one. So that's all that I ordered. But if you have ever ordered from Baker Creek before, you know that you get some free seeds. So they sent me two free seeds. I'm not sure if that was a mistake or if that was on purpose because I ordered so many. I don't know, but I got two free seeds. So the first one is this Lavender Beauty Phlox, which was perfect because I don't have any phlox seeds and I actually really want to plant phlox um, around my mailbox. I think it's so beautiful when people have phlox around their mailbox. So I want to be one of those people. So I'm definitely going to be using this. And then my other free seed was this Datil pepper, which was just perfect. It's like, how did they know? I guess they saw all the other fruity peppers that I ordered and they were like, let's just throw in this one, this other fruity pepper. But it says that it's a blazing hot, blunt little 3.5 inch fruits ripen into brilliant orange yellow, vicious heat, complex fruity flavor. So that was perfect. Okay, so we have two more orders left to go through. I know it's a lot, just bear with me. This is like the only time that I ever buy seeds for the year. Um, so I probably won't be buying any more seeds for the whole entire year. But I have an order from Mary's Heirloom Seeds and one from M.I. Gardener. I've never ordered from M.I. Gardener before. I ordered a ton of seeds from Mary's Heirloom Seeds last year. And honestly, I will always, always buy from Mary's Heirloom Seeds because I noticed a dramatic difference in Mary's heirloom seeds and some of my other seeds from last year's garden. The plants that I started from Mary's heirloom seeds were the most productive plants that I had in my garden last year. So I don't know what it is. She doesn't even live in my zone. So I, <laughs> I try to buy um, like the majority of my seeds from people that live close to me, like Kid Seed Co. and So True Seed. They live in Asheville in North Carolina, so that's close to me. And it's always a good idea to buy seeds from people that live in your region because then those seeds are adapted to your region and they're more likely to do better. I think Mary's heirloom seeds are based out of Texas, which is not too far off from my zone. Like it's not, you know, across the, the country or anything like that. But you know, it's still not like in my relative area. But anyways, yes, I will always buy from her because I don't know what it is about her seeds, but they did incredible last year. But one thing I will say is they're kind of slow to ship. I don't have the seeds yet. And I ordered all of these like literally the same day. So the first ones that showed up were the ones from Kid Seed Company. And then So True Seed came probably because they're in North Carolina. I understand that. And then I got Pepper Joe's and then I got Baker Creek. Mary's heirloom seeds are on the way, but they're not going to be here till tomorrow. And then in my gardener, um, they like, I've checked the shipping updates and it says that they have only made the label. So they haven't even really been shipped yet. So I don't know what's going on with those. But yeah, just keep that in mind if you are thinking about ordering from any of these companies. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm just going to read what I got from my receipt on here. So from Aries Heirloom Seeds, I got um, the Chinese Red Noodle Bean. So like we saw from my Baker Creek, Baker Creek order, I got the Taiwan um, Yard Long Bean, and that was like a green variety. This is a red variety but it's still the noodle beans so it's like the really long beans. I thought they looked really cool so I thought why not. And then I also got a lemon squash which I think is just the cutest little squash. So it's a squash plant but the fruits are like maybe the size of like a like a tennis ball or a softball or something like that. So I thought that would be like the perfect little squash for like if I'm just making a meal for myself or something and I just want like a, a tiny little squash to myself like a, just a one serving squash so I'm gonna try my hand at growing that one. 
Then I also got the Caserta Zucchini, which is a beautiful variety of zucchini. I think it's just like your regular zucchini, but it's, it's just striped and it's just really beautiful. So then I got the Casper eggplant, which I actually grew last year, but it was like a bonnie plant that you would just pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, but I really liked the taste of those eggplants. I really loved them so much. So I thought I would get a pack of seeds. And then I got the little finger eggplant. So these are tiny little eggplants. And I think that like I make a lot of curries, like Thai green curry and stuff like that. And so I thought that those would be perfect in like those types of dishes, like curries. So you could just like put the the whole like eggplant in the curry and like have it stew and I think it would be delicious. And then I got the painted serpent cucumber. So this is like a long um slicing cucumber and I think it's called serpent because it can grow kind of twisty. I think it just looked really unique and interesting. Um it reminds me of the Natsu Fushinari cucumber which I grew last year in my garden and I absolutely loved it and I'm definitely gonna be growing it again this year but I thought this one just looked really unique and so I want to try growing it. Last but not least, I got the Buena Mulata pepper. So the Buena Mulata is a beautiful pepper. It's like this beautiful purple color, but it's not like dark purple. It's like a lighter purple hue and apparently it has like just the right amount of heat where it's not too spicy, but it's not too mild. Um, so it's just another interesting pepper that I really want to grow. Okay, and then next I'm going to tell you what I got from in my gardener So I've actually never ordered from them before but a lot of people on TikTok Suggested that I try them out. So I did so I'm just checking up on my order status and it still says it hasn't shipped yet so I'm a little bit disappointed in the uh, shipping time, but let me tell you what I ordered from them So I got the sweet meat squash. So it's supposed to be another like smaller type of squash that's supposed to be really sweet, which I love sweet squashes. It's like a white colored squash. It looks like it has a really interesting pattern on the outside. So it just looked really unique. And a lot of the vegetables that I grow, I am growing because they're unique and I've never seen them in supermarkets before and I just wanna try them. So anything that's really unique and stands out to me, I'm gonna try to grow it. Okay, and then next I got the cost. Costa Luto Genovese tomato. So this is another really interesting tomato. It kind of has like these ripples that come out on it and it just looks really interesting. So I'm gonna grow it. And I also got the mushroom basket tomato. This is very similar to the Costa Luto Genovese tomato. Now that I'm actually looking at them on the receipt, I'm like, why didn't I just pick one or the other? I'm, I probably shouldn't grow both of these because they look very similar. Honestly, the mushroom basket looks a little more appetizing to me in the picture anyway. Um, but it's the same type of tomato. It has like the ripples, um, like it looks like an accordion tomato. And I think they're supposed to grow to a pretty decent size. And then I also got the vintage wine tomato. So I'm really excited about this tomato because it's beautiful. It has these really, this really beautiful striping on it. And I don't know, it's just stunning. So it stood out to me. And it's like another one of those wow factor tomatoes. Like I just can't wait to like hand one of these to like my dad or my mom and then be like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, and then next I got the lemon habanero pepper. So it's supposed to be like a regular habanero, but it's supposed to be a little bit more citrusy. And like I said before, I love the citrusy hot peppers. So I had to try that one. And then I also got a pepperoncini pepper. And when I tell you that I literally eat pepperoncinis almost every single day, I'm not joking. Like I eat a lot of pepperoncinis, probably an embarrassing amount of pepperoncinis. I don't know what it is about them. I love them so much, especially pickled. I mean, that's that's how I eat them is like the pickled pepperoncinis that you can buy in the grocery store. Oh, they're just so good. I love pickled peppers in general, but there's just something about like pepperoncinis. There's just something about them. So I believe that this is an Italian pepperoncini variety. Um, however, I really wanna find a Greek pepperoncini variety too and I want to grow both of them and see if there's any difference. I love pepperoncini so much I'm probably going to grow like three or four plants of this so that I can pickle enough for me to last me through the winter so I don't have to keep buying them in the store because they can get expensive especially if they're imported. And then last but not least I got the habanada pepper. Uh, <laughs> I butchered that. Um, let's start that over shall we? Last but not least I got the habanada pepper. So the habanada pepper is supposed to be like a habanero pepper, but it's heatless. So it's a sweet, 
habanero pepper. And like I said before, habanero is probably my favorite pepper in the world. And so um, I would love to try the sweet version of that. I actually tried to grow this one last year, but I couldn't find any plants near me. I couldn't find any seeds. They were all sold out. And I was like, you know what? This is a hot commodity. If all the seeds are sold out and all the plants are sold out, it must be really good. So the second that um, I saw that, I was like, yes, I'm getting that snatching them up before they before they go out of stock again okay i believe that is it that is all the seeds i'm done buying seeds i say that and then you know i'm probably not done buying seeds but i'm done buying seeds i'm done buying seeds but if you see me buy more seeds just keep your mouth shut okay just mind your own business <laughs> i definitely think that seed buying and gardening are like two totally separate hobbies um it can kind of become a little bit habit forming um, but you know what? At least if the world goes to shit, which honestly, um, at this rate, it could any moment, um, I'll at least feel good in that I have like a good seed vault. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, um, comment below what your favorite thing to grow is or if you have grown any of these before and let me know how they did for you. Let me know how you like them. And I am actually starting all of my seeds tomorrow and this week in general. So keep an eye out for that video because I'm gonna be filming the whole process of me starting my entire garden, which I'm so excited for. Like it's finally time to start the garden. I've been waiting all winter for this. But anyways, here's where you can find me, especially follow my TikTok if you like gardening content. I do a lot of like gardening style vlogs there and shorter videos and hit the bell for notifications if you want to be notified when I put out a new video. And I think that's it. I think that's all the business. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.